All right, we are back with another Real Talk episode, guys. Today, this is going to upset a lot of people, but I'm just going to come out and say it. Guys who work at gun shops do not know what they're talking about. They have no clue. Uh, obviously, this is an exaggeration. I'm not talking about everybody who works at a gun shop, but I have to just get this off my chest because uh, there have been so many times in my life, in the past when I didn't really know much, and up to this day when I've walked into a gun shop and I have asked a question that I know an answer to that I know my own answer to right and then I get uh, just a completely incorrect answer or a clearly biased answer and so I want to talk about that a little bit with you guys especially some of you guys who are newer getting into shooting uh, but before we do that in order to keep the lights on we have to thank the biggest sponsor of the channel which is Brownells guys if you guys do want to support the channel head on over to brownells.com use bro code RDB10 saves you guys 10% off or you can use the link in the description sometimes they have a better sales running than even my code can get you so sometimes they're like 15% off sales and whatnot so you can use the link which will also get my channel credit for sending you over there and then also downrange thermal there's rdb5 saves you five percent off over there with those guys and lastly just liking commenting every comment even if you're just talking shit down there uh, is very helpful guys and much appreciated and then subscribing obviously make sure you check your subscriptions if you like gun content and freedom because this is taboo in uh, 2024 apparently so talking about freedom but in this case we're not going over any specific gun review we're going to talk specifically about walking into a gun shop and how clueless and biased some of these guys are and obviously i'm not talking about everybody i have a local gun store here uh, sportsman's finest where a lot of those guys are extremely knowledgeable they're very honest and i just want to talk to you guys about some of the horror stories that i've had and let's just jump right into it let's just tackle the elephant in the room what do i mean some people are just straight up ignorant. Uh, they are extremely ignorant uh, as far as what is new that is out there. A lot of these guys, you go into a gun store and they're like 70, they're just straight up buds. Uh, one example is I walked into Bass Pro Shops here in Round Rock, Texas, and I asked the guy as I was burning time because it was just absolutely dumping on us outside. It was pouring rain and I didn't want to run in my car in that. So I was burning time, didn't really need anything. I was just kind of making conversation with the guy behind the counter. I go, what's your favorite long range caliber? Uh, rifle and glass like what if you had to go to from a thousand to uh, 1500 you know meters what would you be picking up and he looked me dead in the eyes and said that his his lever action was iron sights and I don't even remember the caliber but it, I think it was like 45 70 or something he goes I, I just I'm from Alaska I moved here and uh, I could shoot a thousand yards 10 inch plate with iron sights and I'm like okay this guy is a complete and utter bullshitter because that is I'm sorry you're, you're not doing that I don't know who you are uh, what you can, if you could do that one time, good job. Uh, that is either luck or the grace of God. Uh, so again, that was the kind of guy I met behind the counter. I had another time when I was very new to firearms. I was buying my first gun. Actually, I bought a, a Smith and Wesson MP40 cow. It was the MMP like before the 2.0 it was the 1.0. And I asked the guy to get me some ammunition that went with it. And from behind the counter is where they kept it. And he gives me a box of 10 millimeter ammo. I don't know if it was a joke to this day. I didn't even look at it. Again, I was brand new to firearms. I took my gun. I took my ammo. I went and checked out. I still, to this day, actually have this box of ammo because it is that funny. Yeah, here it is. So this is the 10 millimeter ammo that he gave me. Um, again, don't know if he was just, I think he was just clueless, this guy. And he, this is the same guy who told me that he keeps uh, like two rounds of FMJ in the, in the top of his mag in case he has to shoot through a door or a window. This is the kind of quality of individuals that are working there. But more um, maniac or more more uh, detrimental is the incentives these guys have, because gun companies like FN or HK or Glock will give these guys incentives and give them and Sig. I mean, they all do it. They all do it. Uh, probably, you know, I don't want to blow up anybody's spot, right? Because you can still like a company and still be rewarded for like it's just like having a YouTube channel. It's like you could you could run a for profit channel. Not that I'd, I'm losing, I'm, I'm hemorrhaging money at this channel. I've spent way too much on this channel, but you guys get the point. I'm not complaining, but you could run a for-profit business like these gun shop guys. I'm not trying to throw my guys under the bus, <clears throat> but if you sell a certain number of HK pistols and rifles throughout the year or SIG or whoever it is, you will get free shit from them and you will get free product from them, which will in turn you know allow you to either sell it or that's like getting paid. And so you might have, be close to getting this uh this brand new you know sig rifle from them if you sell another ten thousand dollars worth of their product what are you going to be pushing when somebody walks in there and is it going to be from a genuine place of this is a great product and it may be i'm not saying everybody is maniacal and everybody's evil or pushing bad stuff 
but you got to take those things into account. And I'm not here to say I know everything either, guys. I'm not here to say, hey, listen to, to Talking Head um, A, B, or C on the internet either. My advice to everybody is do your own research. Do a lot of it uh, from different sources. Uh, I particularly love watching YouTube reviews because I like watching the gun work. I like watching the gun fail when it fails, uh, so on and so forth. I like seeing through, like C does, like when he's doing optic reviews or uh, Superset CA. I like seeing through from a POV perspective when they're talking about the field of view or the clarity of the glass. You know, that is where I go for a lot of my information, but I still will, you know, venture into Reddit or venture into this guy, this form or that form to get more information. But these gun shop owners or uh, gun shop workers, a lot of times I just have some gripes with them because a lot of times they just don't know what they're talking about or they're extremely biased in one direction because of their limited experience in firearms and shooting and, and or they're extremely lim they're biased in another way because they're getting incentivized to sell you something else. So just be careful when you're walking, especially as a new shooter. Um, I like to play dumb and see how far people will take it. I, I walked in a random gun shops like that guy at Bass Pro. I, I kind of just played dumb with him. Um, he then pointed out this new savage rifle going back to this Bass Pro guy because this is just so ridiculous, everything this guy said. He pointed out this new savage elite that just came out. Uh, and I'm like, dude, I was shopping for that like three or four years ago. It's been out for a while. And that's when I kind of broke broke my character of like just playing dumb. And I was like, no, that's been out for a while now. I actually was looking at that like three years ago because I bought the HSP, uh, I bought the the 110 Elite Savage and 338 Lapua because that one wasn't in stock at the time. And he just like lost it on me. He was like, no, this is brand new. Maybe it was brand new to the shop, but like <clears throat> he didn't realize like it had been released and sold elsewhere, I guess. I don't know. Again, I always look at the best in people, but I like to play dumb too just to see how much someone is willing to invest their time in me too. Cause a lot of these guys are just like, this person doesn't know anything. They may not buy anything. Am I really going to need to explain the difference of uh, the NFA to them? Like 16 inch gun versus a 14, five versus pistol. Like I get that too, because you have, you have people coming in constantly, probably a lot of very, you know, low knowledge level people, but that's your job is to educate these people. So I like to go in and play dumb and let me know if you guys have ever done that before. Like I kind of walk in and be like, hey, you know, what's a, what's a good 5.56 AR? Like what's a good brand? And if someone's like, oh, you got to check out this Ruger, you know, I'm like, ah, okay. And nothing against Ruger AR, guys. Don't go, don't go furiously typing at me in the comments about how great your Ruger AR is. But you get what I'm saying. Like I'll walk in, I'll play dumb and just kind of see what the education level is of the person I'm talking to. And that's just kind of fun, I guess, for me. Uh, if I'm burning time, I like to spend a lot of time in gun shops, especially when I'm traveling for work. Just pop into a random XYZ gun shop and shoot the shit with the guy behind the counter. Uh, but yeah, I think that a lot of people don't realize there are pure and clear incentives, uh, not pure, uh, but but direct incentives for guys to sell XYZ brands. So make sure you're, you're doing your research ahead of time. And I really just would treat the gun store like, uh, like, a, like a changing room, right? Like if you... You narrow it down to a few pistols, like a whatever. I'm gonna use CZ as an example. Like you got a CZ P10C, a Glock 19, a Shadow System, whatever it is. Like you narrow it down to these couple pistols that you want to try out, and you go in there and you could feel them. Even better, go to a gun gun shop that has a gun range, uh, so you could shoot them. You know, um, but <clears throat> I just wanted to kind of give you guys my opinion and kind of throw it out there because I don't think many people think about that. There's definitely like three levels to it, I believe, like I already mentioned, like they're just ignorant or they uh, they have no experience. Like a lot of these guys aren't really shooters. And I used to say things, oh yeah, beware of people who say things like, this is the best, blah, 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 blah. Okay. I used to do that when I first started the channel because I didn't know shit. Okay. And I still don't. That's the only thing. The more I learn, the more I realize how little I actually know. And anyone who's an intelligent person would admit that, like if the dumbest person in the room is the person who thinks they know it all. So if you walk into a gun store and a guy's like, this is the best X, Y, Z, like I would immediately just never take that guy's opinion again. Uh, unless he's, you know, I think the way people should speak and the way I try to speak in my reviews is like, I like this for this reason, or in my opinion, this is the best because it really is just your opinion. And in my experience, I have a one-on-one -on -one example with this rifle gun or whatever. But when I first started shooting, <clears throat> when I maybe shot, 2000 rounds a year, which is still way more than most people shoot. Uh, I, I really didn't know. I just didn't know. I didn't have the experience behind the trigger. So now that I'm at the point where I shoot, you know, probably 10 or 12,000 rounds a year, and that's still not a lot compared to some other competitive shooters, but that's across, you know, handgun, uh, rifle and whatnot. So it's really just handgun or rifle. I don't shoot shotgun. 
I still don't know all there is to know. I know how much I don't know. That's what I've, what I've learned is how little that I actually know about uh, everything, whether it be precision shooting, uh, CQB, uh, pistol shooting, competitive shooting. I just I just realized that there's so much more to it once you kind of scratch the surface off and you can see like how deep this goes. And there's a lot of guys that have a lot of knowledge out there. It's all out there on the internet, which is the beautiful thing about today. And so there's no excuse for just walking into a gun shop and relying on Joe Schmo behind the counter to give you give you the answer to all your problems. Now I know there's definitely a lot of people that are watching this are like, hey, we, we know this already. Like you're in it, you're watching these videos, you're already kind of in this sphere. You probably know way more than the average gun owner. But uh, it's a shame that, you know, if you have somebody in your life that's like, hey, I'm thinking about buying a gun, maybe maybe go with them, help them out. And I'm sure they've already reached out to you. I have that happen to me all the time with friends and family reaching out to me about, hey, I got this, <clears throat> excuse me, I haven't had my coffee yet. I got this idea about this gun or that idea about that gun. You know, what do you think? And, I, and I'll even tell them, hey, I have this glass or I have this rifle. Come shoot it first. Come come with me to the range. We'll shoot it. And if you, if you like it, then you can go ahead and go buy it. So <clears throat> again, sorry, I haven't had my coffee, guys, but... I'm going to wrap this up because it's starting to get a little repetitive and I'm starting to just sound like I'm just bitching about this. So uh, thank you guys so much for staying to the end of the video. If you guys like these videos, again, liking, commenting, subscribing is a huge help. Thank you so much. And if you guys do want to support the channel monetarily, if you need something, do not put yourself in financial uh, turmoil like I've done in the past uh, to support the channel. But if you do guys need something, RDB10 over at Brownells uh, is very, very much appreciated. Um, love you guys. Have a great day.